he just heard that the other debater, his, his name is Rashid, he is an ex-Muslim and he speaks Arabic very well, and he's a Moroccan. But here, Muhammad Hijab, he have the guts to sit next to this rabbi. He did not know anything about Islam. I did not watch the debate, but you tell me, did he? Did, did the rabbi say to him anything about Islam? Did he quote for him the Quran? Did he quote for him Muhammad? Did he say anything? No, I don't think so. So they are so good in debating someone, he know nothing, or someone he is going to read from his computer, like what happened with David Wood. This is why, for me, I refuse formal debate. Because formal debate, in the way they do it, is they choose a topic, and then five minutes for you, five minutes for him. That is not a debate. Here, this is that, uh, you know, dog show. This is not about, you know, this is just a guy. Uh, the 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 one who is moderator he he switched the topic as he wished he changed it you know okay let's go to this or no okay let's stop here let's go let's ask his question he you know he changed as he wish this why it's not a debate we can even change the whole topic if you want you know the moderator is the one because this is a show this is not a debate the rabbi was saying Islam is a beautiful exactly this is what they want. You see, that's mean the rabbi is an asshole. Excuse me. <laughs> so somebody just told me, you see, I, do, I told you I did not watch the debate, but somebody said that the rabbi was saying Islam is a beautiful religion. That means the rabbi himself is a Muslim, even though he's a rabbi. <laughs> because if the enemy witness to the devil, how stupid you are, do you see, I mean, do you see why they accept to debate this guy? So this guy, he come to debate Mimi Hijab, to tell him Islam is a bit of, this is, this is what Mimi Hijab should say. This is why they debate only certain people. And look, even though the, the rabbi obviously is an idiot, Still, Mimi Hijab, he had to condemn Hamas. So what we accomplish in this uh, show? I condemn Hamas. If they kill babies, it's proven they kill babies. Do we need to prove it? Even Hamas, they say that with their mouth. Even Hamas, they recorded themselves killing babies. In fact, all the videos they have them about killing the babies or killing women, it was recorded by Hamas. All of them. The stupid Hamas, they have a GoPro in the top of their head. And later when they are shot by the Israeli, the Israeli were able to take this film and use it. Why don't, don't you watch the video? Because I believe it's going to be silly and stupid. I don't have time to waste. And it looked like I was right. You just told me, one of you told me, that the rabbi said that Islam is beautiful. That means the rabbi is a liar. He's a politically correct. Or he's ignorant. Each one of them is a disaster. And that means that Morgan, he invited somebody, maybe in purpose, to make Islam look better. Or maybe he is desperate, he could not find somebody to present the Jews, so he invited this guy. But you are telling me that there is a debate, they are invited to debate Muhammad Hijab versus Rabbi Sham Shamuli, I changed his name, Shamuli, he should call him Salami then, on Palestine, Israel. Why the rabbi did not say to him, okay, you see, if the rabbi, he went and he checked a little bit in the internet, let us say, you know, I'm a rabbi, I don't know much about Islam, okay, but we have something called internet. You can go right now and click at any website, have the Quran, and type the word Israel. And then this rabbi, he can start reading.
and then he will find many stories about Israel. So what about you read a little bit, Mr. Salami, before you go and debate a Muslim? What about you go and search in Google, how many Jews Prophet Muhammad killed? And yet you go to Mimi Hijab, and you say to her, Islam is beautiful. So now, anyone he heard this, he heard positive things about Islam. So what was the debate is about? I'm going to open my Skype, even though it's getting really so late for me. But if there is any Muslim would like to make a comment about Mimi Hijab condemning Hamas for killing children and babies, and you tell me if you back up what he say or he you, you believe he is just being uh, practicing taqiyya, which means being hypocrite liar. Either you agree with him or you condemn what he say. My Skype is open. We have a guy, his name is Abdul Rahim. Let us call Abdul Rahim. He called me today, two hours ago. Let us see if we can get Abdul Rahim. Maybe Abdul Rahim is not available, or he is not connected to the neighbor's internet. Because as you know, Muslims, they don't steal internet, neither electricity. By the way, people of Gaza, they never pay for electricity. They never pay for water. They never pay for internet. And then you ask yourself, who is the one who give them the internet and the electricity and the water? So we want to kill the Israeli, but we take electricity from them. We want to kill the, the, the Israeli, but our internet, which we use for terrorism, is from them. Why they don't take their internet from Egypt? Do you know how far they are from Egypt? Five centimeter. Right? Why not from Egypt? 